This evening, a newly filed civil rights lawsuit targets a local deputy, a Walmart officer, even the department store itself. A Hudson man is seeking $10 million in what the suit claims was racial profiling and a false arrest. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay at 6. I'm Courtney Robinson in for Carolina. And I'm Dave Wagner. It started when the arrest video went viral at a Spring Hill Walmart. And tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio shares what the man hopes to get out of this lawsuit. Tony Wynn is that man behind that viral video. He said he feared for his life through this federal lawsuit. He's hoping to find justice, and he hopes this doesn't happen to anyone else. What are you talking about? Wynn says a Hernando County deputy and a Walmart loss prevention officer believed he was this man, Cody Vondelin, another man of Asian descent. Where are you taking him? Wynn says he's glad his girlfriend took video of the incident. The video is so viral, it got the attention of his now attorney, Harry Daniels. I thought it would never happen to me. You, know? you guys should be ashamed of yourself. Plaintiffs allege in the 911 call audio that the Walmart officer misidentified Wynn. There's an Asian male in the store right now. His name is Cody Vonderlin. This is horrible. In their lawsuit, they state the deputy did not ID Wynn until he took him to the jail. They also say the deputy involved did later apologize. Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. Now, the lawsuit states that Wynn was given a trespass warning at that Walmart back in 2013, which banned him from that store location. But Wynn maintains his recent arrest was unrelated. The Hernando County Sheriff's Office declined to comment, but Walmart tells us they are actively looking into this situation and will, quote, respond as appropriate in court.